How's it going guys, Abby here, and today we're going to be heading to Naharan River here in Fishing Planet. Now, a lot of people wanted to make a video on this. It's not my favorite lake, so I kind of pushed it off and pushed it off and pushed it off and pushed it off for a really, really long time. But we're going to head there today. I'm going to go ahead and grab an advanced license. I'm going to show you guys what I am going to be using here. And this is what I'm going to be using it, uh, for the spinning rod. I'm going to be using a Featherlight 215 and the Prima 3000. Now, you can get these in the shop. Of course, if you go to spinning rods, you can see here, this actually unlocks at level 11, which means you will have it just after you unlock uh, Naharan River. And then for spin reels, you just need something that's 4 kilograms, so you can use the Callisto MG. I'm using the Prima 3000, but anything that's 4, uh, four kilograms or around 4 kilograms will work. But that's the setup I'm going to be using, guys. I'm using some fluoro as well, 4.5 kilogram fluoro. And I'm bringing a 7 gram bass jig. 2-0 hook size, 2 aught hook size. Now, there is other ones you can bring here. As you can see, I do have a 309 gram one. It just depends on what you guys want to use, but either of those should be just fine. But that's what I'm going to go with for now. And then for my float rod here, I'm going to be using the Nero 330 and the Aspira MLR 2000. Now, this rod is, I think, level 11? Yeah, level 11. And the reel's a little bit a little bit ahead it's like level 18 ish or so but whatever flow rod you guys have should be okay here i'm going to be mainly using this to catch catfish uh maybe some gar if the line doesn't snap we'll see but uh, this is this is more for like low level people people who are going here earlier on in the game whatever you have should work as long as you use something similar in terms of uh size like hook size or lure size it should be okay uh, at this point, you're probably coming here. You only have small cut bait and small minnows. Now, if you have large cut bait and large minnows, you can make it easier to catch gar here, of course. Uh, same with bigger catfish. You use the better baits, you'll be able to catch better fish. But since you're probably going to be coming here at a low level, small cut bait, small minnows is what I'm going to be using. So I got small minnows on right now. And now in my nose, I do have it set to 140 centimeters. I will throw the conversion up for you guys in case you need it. I'm going to be using 4.0 hook size here, guys. Now, you can use a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, depending on what you want to do. But I'm mainly going to be going for some catfish and going for some bass here. So this is what we're going to be going with. Now, I did bring some extra bottom rods just to speed things up a little bit so you guys can kind of kind of see what's going on here. But Heron River, not one of my favorite places, guys. But let's head out and see what we can grab. All right, guys, when you get to Heron River here, I'm going to go down to Woody and Cham in here. Now, this is where I spend most of my time. A lot of people also like this uh, great parking job spot here with the truck, which I will show you as well. But these two spots are basically where I spend most of, if not almost all my time here. So what we're going to be doing, guys, is just fishing right in front here. Now, you can see I have a couple markers set up. Now, these are for a few different things here, but you can see flathead catfish on large minnows, uh, trophy flathead on large minnows, trophy flathead on large minnows and flathead catfish on shiners so if you have any of those you could definitely go ahead and use them over here by the car one again large cut bait and then trophy smallmouth bass on the nine gram 30 bass jig but we're going to be fishing right here guys and the only thing we're going to be doing obviously is we're not using large minnows because if you're coming here you're probably a lower level so what we're going to do is just go ahead throw our float rod down and remember, I got it set to 140 centimeters. I did throw the conversion up for you guys. You should have it. I'm just going to go all about halfway. And we're going to cast out to this marker here. And we're just going to let it let it sit there. That's all we're going to do. Small minnows. About 24 meters out. I can throw a conversion up for you guys there. And then as we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and use a bass jig here. You can use twitch. You can use stop and go. If you want to change sizes, like here, I'll even go to the 3.0. Just to, um, just to show you guys what I'm talking about. Any of that will be fine, guys. Make sure you go to the prime time so you can see here. Uh, it's kind of a weird peak, but we're just going to fish through it until we get something. I'm going to go ahead and use twitching and stop and go, guys. And when I get a fish on, I'll let you know. All right, so you can see here I'm using two speed. Well, you can't actually see that I'm using two speed, but I'm, I, I am using two speed and I'm doing stop and go right now. Now, because these bass jigs are so light and you're using the featherweight setup or the feather light setup, you can really use one or two speed, but... It sometimes hits the hits the bottom of the river there. So I'm just going to use two speed and just do stop and go like this. Again, if you want to do twitching, go ahead. It doesn't really matter. You guys are going to catch lots and lots of bass here, which is uh, probably the main goal when you first come here is just catch a lot of bass. Uh, they have decent money, so I can definitely understand why you guys want to catch them. And there we go. We got one on already. 
looks to be a large mouth and you guys can see with this setup it's gonna be pretty good fights guys this is the featherlight setup so it, it it's gonna be good fights but that also means good xp which is what you're looking for here so let's go ahead try and bring this bad boy in it'd be nice to get a good a good trophy or unique rate off the off the bat though that would be nice let's bring him in still can't tell if that is a no that's a large mouth that is a large mouth. There we go. Trophy largemouth bass. 108 XP, $430. Very good catch to start it off. Hopefully it's a good sized catfish, but you can see here, guys, it is pretty quick fishing here. Now it's not my favorite place, but I can see why people like it. Actually, it looks like we got a bass. Trophy black crappy. And I know that triggers some people that I don't call it a crappie, but there we go. Good XP, good money. Now, obviously, that's not the main goal of what we're looking for here, but I'm just going to keep casting, and this will drift, guys, as well. So just every time it drifts past the bass spot you're fishing in, just recast it, and you should be good to go. That's all I ever do. All right, guys, we got another fish on here on the feather light setup. Now, hopefully, this is another good one. We haven't caught any smallmouth yet, but uh, maybe we'll get lucky here and get one. Either way, I don't mind getting the largemouth. There's still good money anyways. Let's see what we got here. This one is definitely not a trophy, just judging by the size. Still couldn't tell if that was a largemouth or not. Be nice to get a good little smallmouth here, though. All right, guys, we got another trophy largemouth bass, 113 XP, $448. So again, guys, pretty solid money if you're going to come here. We have another fish on the float rod here. Hopefully this one's a catfish, but it doesn't look like it. But either way, guys, you can see that you're going to be getting some bass here and stuff. Now, it is a little bit harder to get catfish with these smaller baits. But either way, you're still going to catch fish here. I wanted to give you guys the option to either float fish or do some lure fishing here. I got the bottom rods down too as well, just so that way you guys can see uh, when you get shiners and stuff like that, it does become a lot easier to catch the bigger catfish and stuff here. You see here, we got a pretty decent sized fish on. It's most likely a cat. And yeah, there we go. So you can see here, guys, once you get the shiners unlocked, you'll be able to grab those catfish a lot easier. Another trophy largemouth bass, guys. 468 bucks. You can see here, I got 12, I got 14.899 kilograms in my keep net. That's about two grand here, guys. So not great money, but early game, it's definitely not bad. Come on over to great parking job. Now here, we're going to do a little bit more fishing. Hopefully we can get some catfish here with the small minnows and small cut bait. I'm going to go ahead and throw down my, um, my float rod here. Once I pull out the right rod. And now this is, this is a pretty solid spot, guys. But you can see here on the map, these markers I have there, it gets very, very deep, very, very uh, early on. So like basically right after the truck is super, super deep. So I'm just going to go ahead, cast one out to about there. You guys should be able to eyeball it. Uh, I will, I will throw up the conversion for 22 meters, but you should be able to eyeball most of these spots. It's not like you're casting very far or anything. Let me pull out the right rod here. And I'm going to do another one. This is obviously the shiners. And on my bottom rod, I'm going to go throw that one out. Do about there. And again, guys, if you got shiners, bring them. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. But it will make catching catfish a lot easier. And then let's go ahead and I'm going to throw even... I'm going to throw one more, like, around here somewhere. And then also, guys, what I do when I'm fishing here is I go after smallmouth. Now, it's not an amazing spot for bass, but it's not bad. So, I basically, I just cast over towards that rock. And we're going to get interrupted here already. That's okay. Nice if we got a cat. It's going to be another small bass, though. It's unfortunate. But that's what's going to happen when you got the small minnows. The small minnows are just really, really small. The shiners are really where you stop getting the bass. Uh, another large mouth, though. So, let's go ahead and recast this one out. And I'll show you guys exactly what I do when I'm using my feather light setup here. All right, guys, so what I do is I just aim towards this rock and that's just where I cast. And this is what I do is just as I'm waiting for bites on the uh, my other rods, I'm just gonna go ahead and fish here for smallmouth. 
You can get largemouth here here as well. But either way, you're going to get some bass here, guys. And that's all that really matters is that you're catching stuff in the downtime while you're waiting for your other rods to get a bite. If you have other rods, if not, obviously you guys can float fish here or lure fish. It's up to you. We did get a bass out of this spot. Now, it's obviously not as fast as the other spot. But it's still pretty good if you're going to come and fish over here. It's at least doable. It gives you something to do while you're just waiting. Now, I don't like this spot as personal or as much as other people do, but it's okay. But here you go, guys. We did get a smallmouth finally. So that's where I like to catch my smallmouth. Now, we haven't got a catfish out of here yet. But from the markers I showed you in the video ga videos, guys, it is doable to get catfish here. And a lot of people actually do get catfish here. Personally, I just usually stick to this spot over here. The first spot I showed you guys, that's just kind of where I like to fit. As I was finishing up here... We ended up getting a catfish just right over here with the, the shiners and the 4-0 hook sizes. So again, guys, if you do have shiners unlocked, definitely, definitely use them if you're trying to come and get some catfish here. All right, guys, if you come to Rubble of Old Times, you can also go the opposite side of where we were just fishing um, or the first spot I showed you guys. As you can see, that's where we were standing before. Now we're just on this side. Again, it works, guys, if you want to try and fish here. Feel free to go ahead. You can just cast into these uh, this little deep spot right here, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Ring the bell so you don't miss a single video. Check out the description for links to my other social media platforms like Twitch, where I stream five days a week. Come hang out live. It's a lot of fun. Also, make sure to come type a comment. Tell me to catch more fish or whatever you guys want. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.